guys, good morning. I'm me and Maro. It's really hot today. It's finally starting to get hot up here. Um, I got this new comforter for my bed, which I don't really like, but I did find one that at least fits it, but Maro loves it, so <laughs> at least someone's happy. Is that comfy? Is that comfy? I have got so many things to do today. <laughs> As you saw from the title, I got an apartment. I got accepted for an apartment. I was not expecting it to happen so quickly. So that just came out of the blue and I've got lots of trips I need to go on this week. And now I've got lots of moving prep to do. So <laughs> it's gonna be a busy couple days. Thought I'd uh, bring you guys along for the adventure. GlassesUSA.com sent me some new frames to try. They're the transitions lenses that go from glasses to sunglasses when you go outdoors into UV light. I could choose whatever frames I wanted to put the lenses in. So I tried to find a pair that would look good as both glasses and sunglasses. Hopefully I chose a pair that works, we will see. And there were four different pastel colors to choose from. I went with blue, surprisingly. I've been getting into blue recently. It brings out a bit of the bluey gray in my eyes. So yeah, I've been trying to incorporate some blue into my wardrobe. I actually own this pair in regular prescription lenses, not the transition. So I knew that they would look good as glasses. Now it'll be interesting to see how they look once the lenses change color in the sun. We're probably not gonna go outside today. I've got so much work to do around the house. I need to sort out what I want to get rid of before I move. <laughs> I have lots of stuff. But tomorrow when I leave on my trip to Akita, we'll be outside a lot so we can see how they change color. Is anyone else's cat kind of curly. Look at his hairs. They're so curly. He always looks so messy and I thought he just needed a good brush and then I realized he has curly hair. Look at it. <laughs> he loves this blanket. I'm glad you like it because I don't. So this morning I was working on my closet trying to get rid of some of my clothes. As you can see, still got lots of clothes in there. <laughs> this is after cutting it down quite a bit. There is a lot more work to be done in there, but I think I'm, I'm sick of looking through my clothes for today. I'm probably gonna move on to like skincare. And Maro's toys. You have lots of toys, Maro, that you don't like because you only play with boxes and strings. And my stationery collection needs some sorting through. I got lots of stationery. <laughs> Starting a stationery business did not help that. Speaking of stationery business, after I mentioned the charity postcards that were selling in my last video, so many of you guys went to my website and purchased them and we were able to beat our goal. So I'm really, really excited to be able to donate that money to the cat rescues. Thank you so much, you guys. If you haven't checked out their social media accounts, please do so. You can see all the great work they're doing and where the money will be going. I'm really, really happy to be able to support them and it's because of you guys. So thank you so much. You watching me? You watching me? Yeah. <laughs> So this is the state of my living room at the moment. I've decided to get rid of my kitchen table because I feel like it's not going to fit in the new place very well. The shape just wasn't right. Other than that, I've just been packing up some of the small things to get ready for the move. Can you hear the construction? They have been doing that for two weeks now. This is quiet compared to what it sounded like before. <laughs> it's made it so hard to do any voiceovers or just film or anything, honestly. I'm, I'm very glad to be leaving. The only thing I'm upset about is leaving the best bathtub shower setup in all of Japan. It's definitely a downgrade in the new place, which I'm kind of sad about. <laughs> I love that bathtub and I used it so often but hopefully the new one isn't too bad. Obviously you can't test out the shower or anything before you move into a place. I kind of just looked at it and the sides look decent. It doesn't have any fancy lights. Don't think it has any jacuzzi jets. So that's a bummer, but I feel like all the other places of the apartment are an improvement on this one. So in general, I'm pretty stoked about it. Update on Maro's cage. He loves it. He doesn't like it outside. Every time I try and put him in it outside, he's just not happy about it, but he sleeps in it every day. <laughs> he spends most of his time just chilling on that ledge or up top here, peering outside the window. 
so <laughs> I'm glad he's at least getting some use out of it. Here's part of my stationery collection. It needs some sorting through. I'm probably gonna keep all this stuff because it's like some of my favorite postcards. Um, oh, you guys, I have to show you these. These are brand new postage stamps that just came out in Japan. How freaking awesome are those? They're 63 yen, which is the standard amount of postage you would need to send something within Japan. So if I send something overseas, I need two of them, but I got tons of them <laughs> because those are so cool. And I send lots of mail out both for my business and to my family and friends. So I'm really excited to use these. How cool, eh? They also have 84 yen ones, which aren't as amazing. They are really cute, but the trading card ones get my vote. So the new apartment is in Sendai. You guys might know Sendai. You've probably heard of it if you watch Chris's channel or Diotaro's channel. They talk a lot about it. I'm pretty excited to be moving somewhere where I know lots of people. That'll be a nice change from where I live now. I have so many friends down in Sendai, so that's awesome. I'll have people to come look after Maro when I travel. I'll have people to go out for a drink with. It'll just be a really big change of environment, I think. Not only people-wise, but like, Sendai's a big city. Morioka's quite countryside. There's about 300,000 people here, and Sendai, I think, has close to a million, if I'm correct. And it really has kind of a Tokyo vibe to it. There's lots of big buildings, lots of shops, lots of restaurants, lots of cafes. Whereas here, there's lots of nature, which I'm really gonna miss. Yeah, Sendai is pretty new for me. I've only been there a handful of times and I don't know it very well. So it'll be up to my friends that live there <laughs> to show me all the cool places, but I'm really looking forward to hanging out with them and uh, showing you guys the city as well. So freaking exciting. I'm gonna be moving this week. So today's gonna be a mad rush to <laughs> go through all my things. I have to finish it today. I have to go through all my stuff and figure out what I wanna get rid of and what I wanna bring with me. Um, because I'm leaving for Akita in the morning. So I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys here for today and I'll see you in the morning in Akita. Bye for now. So I'm headed to Akita Prefecture today to help my friends Chris and Ryotaro film their new YouTube video. It'll be over on the Abroad in Japan channel, so I'll have that link down below if you're not already subscribed. This will be my first time having a really thorough tour of Akita, so it should be really fun. So Akita Prefecture is famous for the Namahage monsters. They're pretty terrifying. Uh, there was a poster at the entrance to the onsen that was like stuff nightmares are made out of, but the boys are filming in the onsen here and it's so hot. I dipped my foot in, I don't know how they got in the water. Oh God. Oh, here they come. They're all done. Let's get it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Yo, Toto lost his voice. Do you love my voice? My Greek, old Husky. Greek voice. Husky Greek voice. Those are his words, not mine. Or oh, Italian even. <laughs> Andiamo. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. And just speak in Italian and you'll be fine. Si, bellissima. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, grazie. 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 <laughs> How was the onsen? I didn't do into his. What? It was good. Was uh, it too hot? It's a horrible sort of post onsen feeling where like it's like 47 mm. degrees Celsius and you just it's feel like really heat stroke. Well, you just come out and you're like really hot and sweaty on a hot day. It's not fun. That's why like onsen mm. really great in winter when you get out and it's cold and you feel great. But like in the summer it's a little bit. Yeah. I feel like agreed. I need to sit underneath an air conditioning unit, but <laughs> it was nice. I, I did like it. The um, the outdoor one's really good. Yeah, it's pretty. Not so sure about the indoor one, but the, <laughs> the outdoor one, really good. And uh, yeah, it was yeah, good. Yeah, Bugs. <laughs> <laughs> Worst interview ever. <laughs> This onsen we visited was super cool. It was all Namahage themed. Unfortunately, we couldn't stay the night because it was fully booked, but if you're interested in learning about the traditional cultures of Akita Prefecture, I really do recommend this place if you're looking for somewhere cool to stay. The rooms were really beautiful with a really nice view out the window, and as you saw, the onsen baths were a little unique and pretty fun. 
We're going to a hydrangea festival now. Is this area famous for the hydrangea? Kokuyume? Ajisa? I have no, no idea. idea. <laughs> Guess we'll find out. Top Japanese tour guide. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> hydrangea, what is the flower? <laughs> Racism. <laughs> No. Look at those ones, they're like dark purple. That's so pretty. It's not banana. It's not banana. It's banana. Normally. So, Akita is famous for these little ice cream stands. It's called Baba Hera Ice. It means like grandmother. Hera is like a flat thing that they scoop it up on. ちょっと <laughs> 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 It's really hot today, so this is really nice. 15 years ago, I went on a road trip to Akita in search of this famous Baba Hera ice cream, but I couldn't find any ladies selling it on the side of the road, so I'm so thrilled <laughs> they had it today and I can have my Baba Hera ice. Is it just like a, a personal business for her? Is it kind of like a... I think she buys ice cream Buys the ice cream yeah. stand and yeah. then she gets to keep the profits that yep. she sells. It's really cool. You can support the local elderly population. <laughs> I've never been anywhere with this many. Chigawajida, soda to budo. Gotta get that one on the way back. Kaidi ni kaimas. <笑>あ、ジェンジェンチがからね。なるほど。可愛い。あっちのばちゃんベテランだから。おばちゃんよりいや、上手ですよ。上手。おばちゃんよりベテランだから。わお。<笑><笑><笑> <laughs> so the good part is inside the temple here as you can see but we're not allowed in. No, it says Sankyakushio Kinshi. Oh it's so pretty, I wanna go in. We don't have time. Whose fault is it? Get back in the car. It's definitely your Shut fault. up. <laughs> We're at a Namahage museum now. The view of the garden outside is so pretty. I wonder if there's koi. See any koi? Maybe not. So I think the purpose of the namahage is to kind of like scare the children. Like if if you're a bad kid, the namahage will come and take you away. It's to like scare them into behaving. Uh oh, I guess they got a bad one.
Cuba. I can see why the kids are scared of those things now. <laughs> They're pretty aggressive. I can just imagine a young kid being in there experiencing that. It's pretty traumatizing. <laughs> I'm just like him. <laughs> Cool. Apparently the walk is gonna be over a kilometer long. Whoa, it's cold in here. And windy. Is it Sugoi? Sugoi is nice. Then we visited the sake brewery and it was actually the biggest sake brewery I've ever been to. It was really clean inside and it was pretty interesting to hear the history of their company. But the best part was the cafe that they have next door. It has a really unique menu of desserts and smoothies using sake. And this is the first time I've seen such a creative cafe at a sake brewery. So if you find yourself in Akita and you're looking for a cool place to get a treat, I highly recommend checking out this place. It's got a really beautiful interior and they had some nice sake that you can purchase to take home with you as well. Mm. Just tastes like a banana smoothie with a bunch of sake in it. <laughs> I'm back home in Morioka now. As you can hear, they're still doing the construction. <laughs> it's just endless. They didn't give me an end date. They said it was starting a couple weeks ago. Um, and the last time this happened, it went on for three months, I think. Anyways, you guys won't have to listen to that for too much longer because the moving people are coming tomorrow. So yeah, the move is happening super quickly. My next video will probably be of the moving process, so I will see you guys then. I'll link the frames I was wearing from GlassesUSA.com down below in the description box if you'd like to try out their new Transitions lenses. And I'll see you again very soon, hopefully. Wish me luck with the move. <laughs> I've got lots of work to do, so I'll try my best to get uh, a video of the moving process up really soon for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now, guys.